the storm of gaining be with you. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Stormstriker SX9 back with another GSL Grand Star Legion video. I am Stormstriker SX9 with a new series that I'm bringing to GSL for the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. This is the PC version of the game. And to make it even more special, I'm going to be using mods as well. It'll be fun. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and start the new game. As usual, I will also be playing this game casually. So, there will be deaths and there will be game overs. I already got an idea of a character that I want to be, so let's go ahead and make him now. Alright, we're going to name him Jax Templar. He's going to be a paladin-like character. Okay, the reason why the starting area is different is because I have the alternate start mod, which lets you start anywhere you want you also get to choose the default start if you want that as well where you start on a wagon and get to the chopping block for the and before that happens the dragon comes down and whatnot but with the with the alternate start you get to pick where you want to start like you want to start with a guild you want to start with a player home you want to start you know abandoned on an island or came off of a ship and stuff like that maybe you're a, a pirate anyways approach my child and choose where your new life shall begin so uh, <clears throat> excuse me i arrived on board a ship let's do that which city did you sail to? We set sail to... Solitude. A life filled with opportunity awaits you, traveler. And you just click this bed here, and it starts the game. You select where you want to start, and you go to the bed, it starts right where you want it. That's how this mod works. Alright. We, we, 
For this character, we arrived to Skyrim from a boat rather than starting from a wagon. <laughs> so. So we start our journey from a boat. Oh. Let's see. What it they when you start at a certain area, it also gives you items and apparel and stuff. Let's see what it gave us. An iron mace and basically some fine clothes. So, we arrived looking rich, apparently. Okay. Citizen. So. Hi there. Rogue Peacekeeper. Hi there. Yes. Warden Peacekeeper. Hmm. Ranger Peacekeeper. And Something. Paladin Peacekeeper. I'm you are you big. Hey! Off. Don't even think about it. I used to ride for crying out loud. If you've come to solitude to Anyways. Since we started in solitude, let's check it out. Hope you guys enjoy this series. This will be going on for a lot of parts and stuff. It'll be fun. Traitor, you betrayed us. We're not going to watch that. Yes. You had it's basically someone's getting hanged. You don't need to see that. <laughs> you probably already saw that a million times anyways. So. We're making our way to the Blue Palace because I believe there are some items here that we need to pick up. The winking skeever's got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use more. Yes. There's going to be weapons and armor in here that's from mods and stuff. So that's what we're looking for. Let's see. Oh. Oh, jeez. Holy mother. Y'all got enough stuff? Someone to investigate. 
Eh. At least we got it marked on the map. But I believe there's a, a weapon and armor to get here, but I don't remember where it was, so we'll we'll find that later. At least it's marked in the on the map though. I got something better in mind though. So yeah, you can play this in first person view or third person view, so your preference. I like to play it in first person view, that way it's up close and personal. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. In your face type of thing. So. All right, the next place we're going to visit is this place. So let's go here. This is going to be our player home. pretty good size actually look at this this is called Blackthorn Castle and the size of this mod is around 1.26 gigabytes or 1.46 gigabytes something like that it's a huge mod it even came with its own weapons and armor if you can find it actually that is so, there's a lot to explore in this place. This is the front gate with the bridge that leads inside the place. This is the apothecary. Let's check the apothecary out. This is where you're going to spend most of the time doing your alchemy and stuff. This is basically an alchemy lab. You got your ingredients and your potions and the alchemy lab table. Perfect place for a mage or someone that likes to practice with poisons and potions and stuff. And we enter the double gate and we come to the blacksmith area. Okay, this is the blacksmith area. You're going to be here a lot too if you like crafting and stuff like that and over here is the uh, training area let's go into the blacksmith shop let's see what do we got here a blackthorn bearing sword We'll just pick them all up. That's going to be our first weapon. One of them, anyways. Alright, we found our weapon. And now... This is the entrance to the castle. Just look at this. Amazing. This is the ledger for how many other people have been in before me. 
It looks like we're number five, so... Yeah, we're number five on the list. This place is pretty old by the looks of it. Pretty ancient. Alright. And then you come in here and there's the throne room. And down here is the basement area where the servants or your barracks are for your guards and stuff. Bodyguards. And over here is a storage room and here's an here's the throne room with a throne chair and another blackthorn bearing sword just hanging above the chair beautiful craftsmanship let's grab it you got yourself a grandfather clock I believe it's Droomer made or something like that. It looks like it. And this is an armory where you can uh, display your mini armor pieces and weapons and stuff. And over here is the kitchen area. This is where the chef will st uh, be, a, be a lot, cooking and whatnot. And let's go upstairs. This is the dining room with another grandfather clock. And this goes to the outside balcony. And they grace us with another weapon, Blackthorn Bow. Let's pick it one. I'm going to pick one up. And then that's the balcony, one of the balconies, anyways. And then you got a ladder here that leads to the attic. As you can see by the attic, this place is pretty old. Someone's lived here before us. And... By the look of this castle, it has Beauty and the Beast written all over it. What does this look like? You got... Uh, Storage trunks, you can store stuff up here as well. Looks, yeah. Whoa, this leads to another balcony, which is even higher. Or should we say the guard wall? Yeah, we'll just call it the guard wall. Anyways, this is our player home with a pretty good, nice view of the mountains and stuff. All right. Next up, we're going to... My Riverwood House. It's time to craft our armor. Time to craft our armor. I believe that house comes with armor too, but... We'll see. 
I don't know if they added that yet. They might have. I'll have to look into that part. So. A new face. The, right ugly one at that. the next thing we're going to be checking out. Yeah, we just went through another player home, which is also from a mod. It's closer to Riverwood, where you can... That's one of the default places you can start at, is Riverwood. All right, here's the Dragonborn Crafting Hall. You're going to be here a lot as well if you like crafting. This is another mod. You got your smelter, armor, uh, black for blacksmith forge, tanning rack, grindstone, workbench, enchanter table, alchemy table, oh, did you need something? staff enchanter, assistant, and viewing chamber, storage chests. More storage in here. And this over here is the kitchen area with one bed. I believe that's the assistant's bed. So it's not really a player home. It's more so a place the Dragonborn will, st will be a lot crafting his stuff, basically. And they made it so the stuff in these things respawn every 24 hours or something like that when you rest. Maybe a couple of days. But, yeah. And we just grabbed some blacksmith supplies because we're going to make our first set of armor. Our goal for this character is to join the Dawn Guard and the ch the companions, as well as the Blades. We'll do the the main quest as well, so we can get all the way to the end of the game. That's going to be a while. All right, next place we're going is your Vasker. Your Vasker is where the companions are. This is another place you'll spend a lot of time at. This is also a smithing area. And I altered this smithing area to add more stuff to it from a mod that enhances the uh, Skyforge basically adds more stuff everything you need is already here even the chopping block anyways Let's craft ourselves our armor here. Our first set of armor, basically. All right. We already got our weapon. Let's okay. Ring of crafting. That's from a mod as well. It boosts your uh, crafting abilities, basically, where you can weapons and armor are improved, creating potions is improved, and enchanting skill is improved. That's important if you want to be a really good crafting or blacksmith. This particular character 
is also partially a blacksmith, likes crafting. You're going to be there a lot. All right, let's go ahead and put the stuff we just got on. And let's see. All right. Let's check it out. This is another mod that I found. This is samurai armor, basically. Makes you look like a samurai. And then the weapon I have on is the weapon we just got from the uh, Blackthorn Castle. Pretty cool. Looks like it's made out of the ebony, basically. Ebony armor. All right. I know we haven't had any action yet, but we'll come to that part. At the same time, I'm also marking things on the map. So we don't have to walk all the way back, basically. All right. We can just fast travel. All right. This is another mod. Enchantment ch ench enchantment chest, which has everything you need for, en for enchanting. If you if you like being an enchanter, this is a place for you. That's also what the Dragonborn crafting hall is for as well. All the stuff you need for crafting for. Enchanting is in here, basically. Everything in this chest can be disenchanted, so you can have the properties to be able to make your enchantments. This is from a mod, so... Only use it when you need to, basically. All right. One of the new servants. Remember that I like my meat. Like I said, there would be mods in this series, so this will be fun. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. All right. All right, here's another mod. This is a chest full of ingots, also for crafting. It also has stuff for hearth home as well. So I'm going to grab that stuff. And I, the special edition of Skyrim has all of the DLCs to the game, so that's pretty cool. So, let's check out this shop here. <clears throat> I have mo I have mods to uh, make it so the shops have more Welcome stuff. And they're more rich as well. Daggers, that sort of thing. Take a look. Blessed Iron Greatsword.
Hmm. That is not what I said. Helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay. He also has ingots as well. Good That's one of the actual areas you can get them from without having to grab them from chests and stuff. That blacksmith sh uh, place over at the Blackthorn Castle also had ingots all over the place. So, we're going back to Riverwood. Because the next time we start, we're going to finally start some action. And we have our first set of armor as well, so. So yeah. So until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is part one of Skyrim of Storm Striker SX9 plays Skyrim with mods for GSL Grand Star Legion. I am Storm Striker SX9. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to click that like button, comment below, share with your friends, and the favorites to click that subscribe button. I will see y'all next time. This will be a fun series. Continue! <laughs> That's going to be a meme now. <laughs>